Set. Let's bring in our good friend Keith Fitzgerald. Keith, good morning to you. I mean, when does the bleeding morning, stop? Ashley. What do you say? Good morning. Ah, uh, man, I just want to throw up my hands, rip out what hair I have left. You know, this didn't have to happen. <laughs> but the thing we don't know, uh, Ashley, is is how much liquidity is left in the system. That's when the selling is going to stop, and and that's not going to stop until they put a muzzle on Powell and his compatriots. You know, I'm, where does this guy go when he's already destroyed a trillion dollars at the blink of an eye or a few statements? It's 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 pathetic. Yeah, and and you know, look, uh, are we headed? I mean, a lot of people say he's going to hit the brakes hard. He's already told us that. Are we looking at a recession, or God forbid, a depression? Or is that getting, is that an overreach, as they say? Well, I don't think it's an overreach at all. I mean, look at look at this. Use common sense, right? Mm. The guy called it transitory mm. for how long, and everybody knew that was wrong. And now suddenly he's talking about, hey, we're going to keep the brakes on. We're going to be diligent. We're going to be aggressive. Really? Mm. I mean, you know, I was born in the middle of the night, Ashley, but it wasn't last night. And I don't think most of America was either. So <laughs> I don't buy what he has to say. I think he's misreading the situation terribly. And Americans are paying a terrible, horrible price for it. One in four is delaying retirement. Millions of people have not gone to the beach. They can't put food on the table. And suddenly he's talking about more economic pain. I mean, how patronizing is that? Yeah. And how long does this go on, do you think? You know, that's a tough one because what that's going to depend on is part of function of how long he can stay quiet or avoid doing something stupid, uh, which uh, unfortunately <laughs> seems to be a foregone conclusion. Um, but I think really we're going to have to have a couple weeks of this. The computers are going to have to realign. There's trillions of dollars in index funds. Investors are scared stiff. They don't want to lose everything. So that's going to prompt some unusual behavior and more volatility into the fall. Keep it, Gerald. Not a fan of the Fed right now, I think that's fair to say. Keith, thank you very much. Appreciate your comments. But they're smiling and clapping as we begin a Monday morning. Hi, it's Keith here. Thanks for checking out today's highlight clip. What'd you think? Did I make sense? Is there something you'd like to add? Make sure you leave a comment down below. And of course, click subscribe to keep up right here on YouTube or sign up for the email newsletter at the link below. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram for my real-time thoughts on markets, analysis, and a whole lot more.